Hey everyone, it's Anna Shear, and right now I'm going to be doing an analysis of all the new campaign footage from E3 today. I'll be showing the whole clip and then stopping at certain points as needed. The footage starts off to be what looks like a sneak peek of the live action series aboard the UNSC Infinity ship. Soon enough, it seamlessly transitions into the campaign mission. Chief, there. As you can see, the giant orb appears to come straight from some act of camo, and also looks to use the Promethean vision to scan for the Master Chief. Later footage indicates that this orb is actually Forerunner. Now where he's heading. Same place we are. For infinity. Let's go. Right away, you'll notice that the graphics look absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, a big improvement over Halo Reach. I don't think we're the only ones in here. Keep your eyes open. In the top left corner, this player carries four of the frag grenade. So hopefully, that will carry over into multiplayer. Scouts, hold up. is described by Cortana as not covenant and looks and behaves very similar to the wretches of Gears of War. They have guns that do quick damage to the chief, depleting his shield in five shots, and two enemies worth of splash damage. first big WTF moment comes when this guy lands right down on the Master Chief. He does look similar to the enemies we saw on the back packaging of the McFarlane toys, but it's definitely not either the Watcher or the Crawler. After the Chief loses a fist fight, the Watcher from the McFarlane toys comes right out of the first enemy. The Watcher quickly regenerates the first enemy and fires its own weapon. Also the first enemy quickly uses a deployable energy shield similar to a Jackal. As you can see, the Watcher is actually able to catch the plasma grenade mid-air and then sends it right back to the Master Chief. 
When the grenade lands behind the player, you can see a little grenade icon that lets you know where a nearby grenade is. After a couple BR shots, the first enemy is killed, which reveals the light rifle. The light rifle is a forerunner gun that contains a 15 shot magazine and looks to be the forerunner equivalent of the DMR or BR. It's a one hit kill to both the watcher and the little crawler things. This next forerunner enemy has the ability to teleport in an instant. He is also carrying a weapon, but the only damage that he deals is a single hit towards the Master Chief with his lightsaber, which drains all of his shields. I'm hoping that somehow, this lightsaber thing will be a weapon that we can use. The final shot of the light rifle reveals that it does have a scope. After being killed, this forerunner enemy drops the scatter shot. The scatter shot has a five round magazine and looks to be the shotgun equivalent. I'm not exactly sure, but right here, it looks like they're using the Promethean aka Forerunner Vision. Whatever it is, it really does a great job in bad lit environments to allow you to see clearly all the enemies around you. The final pan with Promethean Vision reveals a lot of crawlers and also what looks to be higher ranking Forerunner enemies. The guy who deals the final blow to the Chief is one of those high ranking enemies and also appears to carry a lightsaber in his left hand and a Forerunner gun in the other. Right here, we see what looks to be another type of Forerunner enemy who is more chrome and purple than the black and orange ones. On the bottom right looks to be some hunched turtle looking thing which does not carry a weapon and on the bottom left you can see some sort of four-legged spiked enemy that once again doesn't have a weapon. The enemy in the foreground is similar looking to the enemies we just saw and also carries a saber and a weapon. His weapon looks similar to the scatter shot, but not exactly. Whatever it is, it has two gauges and reminds me a little bit of a sniper type weapon. Immediately after this, we get a look at what appears to be the successor to Halo 3's elephant. However, this thing definitely has a lot more armor on it. And finally to conclude this footage, Cortana has reached the end for expected lifespan as an AI and therefore is acting like a crazy ex-girlfriend and won't allow the Master Chief to leave the planet. As if the Chief didn't have enough problems fighting the enemies, Cortana looks to pose a threat as well. That's gonna be it for my analysis. Thank you for watching and make sure to leave your opinion on all this new footage down below in the comments.